No, just for the sake of accuracy, um, the last diagram was drawn um, with quite thick pen just to make sure you could see how the behaviour was. A little bit more care has been taken over this one and this gives more of an example of what we expect you to do. If we take five results as an example, what we've done here is we've plotted our five results or five rays entering the block. We've measured these angles and they correspond to five different things, 14, 28, 42, 57, 73 degrees. Just randomly drawn in there, nothing taken. We've also worked out what the angles are of refraction here for the five rays, and we've also measured the angle of incidence as it leaves the block and the angle of refraction there. Having a look at the air to glass situation, we end up with the rough following results. Okay, so you can see how there is a definite difference in this section here where we've got the incident and refracted rays as it goes from air to glass, more dense, so the refracted ray is less. And then once again where we've got glass to air, incident and reflected ray, because it's now leaving the glass block, the refracted ray is higher, which is what you'd expect. Light slows down in an optically more dense medium, hence you get the refraction. Light speeds up as it leaves uh, an optically more dense to a less dense medium, such as moving from glass to air or water to air. So that's why you see the difference in results. What we need to do next is plot these on a graph and see what our behaviour is.